Hello everyone, this is Stevio here, and we are back in Flint, Iowa. Back on the with the boys on the server playing. It has been a while. You can uh, feel the chill in the air. It is uh, getting a little chilly out here. Alright, so uh, Farm Boy and Timmy kind of pulled a prank on me, and I'm not completely hating it, but I'm definitely not loving it. They somehow convinced Grant that I would want my uh, Ford truck paying neon green. Uh, I don't know if this is neon green. Pretty close to neon green. So my uh, very successful uh, farmer buddy, Greg, uh, decided with the high corn prices and everything, he is going to liquidize his farm. He called me up and said, hey, I know the corn prices are high now. If you want to come down, check out my farm equipment before I put it on auction just have a leg up on everyone else look at everything and I'm like oh that's a great idea but before we do that which truck we're we gonna drive there Toyota GMC for you know farm boy ain't around we don't get to show love to the Ford enough yeah I love that sound listen to her purr Listen to her purr. Love the lights on here. Yeah, if we buy something big, we'll be able to pull it back. They have hazard lights for us. I don't even know if we're going to be able to convince him to buy something, but uh, all this is due to be put on auction. I don't know if it's going to be an in-person auction or just over the phone. We're going to take a look before anybody else we're basically getting first dibs at everything. Can't not love that, right? Oh. I think, uh, Grant, you would think he would be smart enough to uh, take the train horn off this truck before he sold it to me. Uh, I hope he wasn't wanting an afternoon nap because, uh, we just woke the whole neighborhood up. It has been a great surprise to all of us that corn prices are skyrocketing right now. Uh, I kind of played the market just right. I didn't get a, I didn't contract a lot of my corn, which I waited till it got really high, and then I locked it all in, sold it really good. So uh, let's just say we have a lot. Of uh, capital uh, money on top to play with this year. What I need to be careful with is uh, this is how a lot of farmers go broke. They uh, have one good year and then followed by ten terrible years and it ends up putting them into the negative. Uh, no cop, no stop. Uh, yeah, we better not do that again. We're going to get in trouble around here. So, uh, He's definitely got a nice farmyard here. He, uh, he's basically got, he's got a lot of nice buildings. Too bad we can't somehow move these to our farmyard. What the heck? What the thing? What does he have a giant, what is this? The biggest dump truck ever? Holy cow. Maybe somebody already bought the land. Ooh, I hope a huge uh, mining company isn't going to buy this all off. Okay, uh oh. I thought I got first dibs. Why? Is that Buck? I don't think that's Buck. I, I haven't seen Buck drive a Dodge lately. I hope that's not Buck. Don't, don't be bidding up this uh, equipment. He told me I had first dibs. I'm gonna hold him accountable. I mean, I want an advantage, especially over Buck. Uh, I don't know if that's Buck or not. I know he changed his truck lineup. Hmm, what do we got? Looks like a lot like a farm boy's uh, tractor here. 49.55, looks like we got a DB60 over there. 
Don't know why that's outside. Now right, let's walk in here and do a little snooping. Hmm. A white planter. What is this? Is this a... Uh, is this a... DB... Is this a 60 foot? Hmm. Foxville planter? Don't see that every day. I kind of like this uh, case Steiger here. Whew. Look at them fatties on there. Yeah, it's got the tow hitch on the front. It's got the blacked out uh, windshields. Well, all windows, basically. Whew, blacked out rims, too. Hmm, looking. Ooh, this storm grain cart. 1051 with, uh, don't have to worry about your uh, big uh, floater tire getting ruined by the corn stalks because it has uh, duels on the back. Hmm. Kind of like this thing. Ooh, I might end up having to bid on that. Wow. Look at all this. He's got equipment packed in here. Whew. Man, he's preparing for winter. They're definitely going to have to pull a lot of equipment out. So we got... Uh, 61 tan don't really think that's necessarily needed on the farm definitely got some chipping going on gonna have to repaint them rims fair lean here 500 with slicks on the back you don't see that every day look at this uh this uh long benston trailer flat top whoo that would be nice pulling bales around, but uh, I don't think we can uh, probably uh, justify that. At least me and farm boy can't. Got a 9510R. Look at this. This looks like a strip till on front of a 16 row planter. Wow. Talk about, they must have that uh, juiced up a little bit. I know it has 510 horses, but wow, every single one of them rolls has a shank on it. it takes a lot of horsepower going through that, uh, going through the field. Ooh, what do we have? We got a Cummins. Is this a Barracuda? This is a Cuda. Plymouth. Wow. Wow. I have always loved the looks of these cars look at this this thing is pimped out i don't know why he's i don't know if he's going to be end up selling this or not it seems uh definitely not something you would normally see on a uh, farm auction oh man very clean inside looks like uh he wants to hear the radio over the engine I mean, look at that thing in there, that big block. Whew. Beautiful. It's just beautiful. It gives me chills. This is odd. You don't see this every day. A uh, 4320 diesel front wheel sis. Man. I know we got a lot of tractors on the farm, but you just don't find this every day. We got a bid on this. Definitely going to bid on that. I love... The looks of this Chevy this would be a great work truck I won't have to listen to a uh, farm boy complain because it does have a bow tie mm hmm look at that flat boy it has a three-wheeler on the back here looks like a some type of tank in the back of it over there love the color hmm hmm shouldn't have came I, I'm gonna just end up drooling what the heck this Steiger is cool oh man I'm in love with this thing I think all my profit this year is just gonna go away because look how cool this grain cart is that thing oh man how oh, we would major be upgrading the Kinsey gotta we're just gonna have to uh we're gonna have to uh, put a bid down on it we still have some corn in the field it's been sloppy muddy it's been a terrible year we still have to do some harvesting 
Might be some down corn. Don't know. Man, he uh, even purchased one of these bush light uh, John Deere with the corn reel on the front. 12 row. Can't afford that, but uh, I would love it. Look at this. Peterbilt. Three axle. Four axle, really. It's a front. But that is impressive. Love the purple. Definitely got a purple sensation going here. Look at this beautiful uh, case international here. Is this a case international? I can't remember. This must have been right during or after the merger. I love this Dodge. Or really a Ram. Heavy duty Ram. One ton. Cummins with a Sea-Doo on the back. I, this caught my eye. Not the not the motorcycle, but uh, this uh, repair truck, service truck, whatever you want to call it. This uh, international definitely caught my eye when I came in. Whew! You talk about quickly getting uh, repairs done. If not, at least uh, you won't be so mad. You won't say so many working words, you know, the four-letter words when you're uh, broke down, you know, behind or whatever, when you got something like this. Uh, little freight shaker, single axle. Kinda, I, I'm kind of digging this uh, little pup truck here. I don't know. It just seems like the perfect uh, truck to have on the farm. We might have to end up... Uh, whew, that's probably going to go for a pretty penny, but I wouldn't mind having a freight shaker on the farm. Ooh, 90 to 30 here. This reminds me of old Daddy Cornstar. Cola Cornstar's new harvester. It's got the tracks on there. I don't think that they have a folding corn head. don't know if they've even bought a corn head yet. But, uh, hmm. I would love to a folding corn head that would save so much time especially going between that uh, the waterways and the tree rolls and everything it's kinda bad around here it would save a ton of time if we could just uh, fold the corn head and uh, fold blower to the next field man oh man look at all this nice equipment shouldn't have came I know my wife was just like, don't go. You're just going to want to spend a ton of money. And she was right. She was right. I'm going to have a little words with them and see if I can uh, get the the buddy deal. You know, the friend friendship deal. That, that cuts a couple grand off, right? At least I hope so. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you next time over here in the beautiful state of Iowa. Open up this door, drive out my couple pieces of equipment, yeah, yeah, got the buddy deal. Later y'all, if you want to play with all these mods and more, check out Apex Game PCs, they make a PC for anybody's dreams. Use code SQUAD, save 10%. Later, y'all.